In this video, we are going to look at the adjustment in Carlson Survey GNSS. So, Survey GNSS is our post processing software, and uh, included in Survey GNSS is a least squares adjustment. So, we're looking at this example where I have four vectors and I'm trying to uh, determine the coordinates of uh, Bob 1 point here in the in the middle I have four vectors and that means that I have redundancy and when I have redundancy then I need uh, a least squares adjustment to give me uh, a final result so I'll just run the uh, adjustment compute network adjustment uh, then there's a separate file created for servnet so you could also run the results or do the adjustment with servnet and maybe combine it with total station observations, which is something that Survey Genesis uh, does not do. So we'll ignore that for a moment. Uh, and then here we have our, our results. And one of the main things to look at is the uh, statistical test. And we see that the uh, statistical test value, which should be between 1.7 and 23 is uh, is rejected so the statistical uh, statistical test rejected our result um, there could be mainly two reasons for this uh, rejection it could be that there is an outlier in one of our observations so there's just uh, an error one, one of our observations is uh, is wrong or it could be that the, uh, the overall accuracy of our vectors are a little bit over uh, optimistic. Um, now let's first look at the uh, at the outliers. Do I have any any outliers in my in my vectors? Um, if I look at my vectors, I see that one of the vectors has a medium quality. So that could be uh, that could be a problem. So what I could do is I could simply leave out this vector. You know, when, when you have enough redundancy, then you can just uh, leave out the vector. And I would say I could rerun the adjustment uh, and then leaving, leaving out this vector. Or what I could also do, and I'm going to try that right now, is I will recompute the vector, changing some of the, uh, changing some of the settings and see if that uh, improves the result. So I'm going to click the vector and I'm going to say recompute. Um, I see that uh, the computation was done with an elevation mask of, uh, of 20. So let's change that to 13. Uh, another possibility to edit the data would be to look at the satellites. So I'm looking here at enable, disable satellites. Uh, and then the uh, these are the satellites locked at the uh, at the Bob station. Um, and here I could deselect satellites. For instance, this satellite 32. It's sort of it's probably low on the horizon, so it's it's on and off, on and off. It probably doesn't doesn't even really contribute to the uh, to the solution. The same for this uh, for this GLONASS satellite. Um, so this could be a strategy. If you see these uh, uh, these sort of dotted uh, GPS uh, signals, you could you could switch these off and then rerun the uh, the computation. So. That's what we're going to do now. So I've changed the elevation mask. I uh, deleted some of the uh, some of the satellites, and we'll we'll recompute. And uh, well, as we see, it didn't really have much much of an effect. So it's still uh, it's still medium. So we can uh, we can rerun the adjustment. Okay, with all the rows, and uh, we see it actually had a had a pretty bad effect 
on the uh, on the whole adjustment. So in this case, our strategy would be to to deselect this uh, this vector, and then I still have uh, three vectors, so I, I still have my uh, redundancy. Okay, uh, we're doing the the network adjustment again. Just the, uh, ignore this. Okay, um, so now we have uh, we have removed the outlier, but still the statistical test, as you can see over here, the statistical test is still rejecting our uh, our result. Um, so this basically means that we were too optimistic um, as far as the the accuracy of our of our vectors is concerned, and and this is this is typical for uh, for for processing usually um, the uh, the process vectors the accuracy is is more of an uh, internal accuracy and it tends to be a little bit uh, optimistic so what we can do is uh, we go to our preferences and then we go to uh, adjustment and then we see for instance that we can uh, we can enter a centering error because this 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 internal accuracy that we are using uh, of course doesn't include the, uh, the the centering error so how well we have centered our instrument on top of the uh, uh, of the point of the uh, the station Bob one so we have an, uh, a centering error and uh, we have a variance factor so with the variance factor we can sort of uh, scale the adjustment and it's actually not uncommon to to have a value of 20 or, or 50 or sometimes even uh, even 100 uh, to make the uh, the result or the accuracy more uh, realistic so in this case we're going to work with a value of uh, of 20 we're going to say okay and we're going to rerun the adjustment Ignore this file again. Okay, and as you can see now, now we have uh, a pass, so the the result is uh, is accepted. So we are now in between the uh, the lower and the uh, and the upper limit. Um, now you could say that uh, well that this is an easy strategy, so I'll just raise this value and then I'm okay. Of course, the uh, the issue is you can you can make this uh, 100 or, or 500 or, or or whatever, and then of course you will you will always get uh, a pass here. Um, but this this setting corresponds with the the final accuracy of your uh, of your coordinate. So if we would accept the adjustment result, then we go to File and we say save adjustment if you see the, the position now turns to uh, to green indicating that i have a, a final result um, but you also see the accuracy here of my uh, bob one so this is in, uh, in in centimeters so this is this is actually a pretty good value uh, about about half an inch uh, so to say um, but of course, if you would increase this value that we were just looking at, then of course also uh, the accuracy of my Bob One will become uh, less. So that's how it's all that's how it's all uh, balanced. So that's what you have to be uh, aware of. Another setting for this adjustment for this overall uh, accuracy, which which tends to be a little bit optimistic would be to use a standard deviation and then for instance the standard deviation from the specs of your instrument so the specs of your GPS receiver will usually say something like uh, the post-processed accuracy so the, 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 the static accuracy will be 2 or 5 millimeter plus 1 ppn so that's also what we can select if you say well this variance factor I don't really have a feeling with what it exactly means. You could also select standard deviation, look at the specs of your receiver, 
and enter uh, just copy this value like i said usually it's something like two or five mil and then plus uh, one or maybe maybe half uh, ppm so we're going to use this setting now and just uh, and just see what happens so we're going to run the uh, adjustment for a moment and uh, we're going to say uh, network adjustment okay ignore this okay and uh, what we see now is that the um, we're actually a little bit uh, too pessimistic so actually our accuracy is now uh, better than we uh, than we indicated so that's sort of we're falling now on the uh, on the other side so that means that we're actually we're actually more accurate than this so I could change this to instead of one to half ppm and we're gonna run the adjustment again and just ignore this and now we get we get a pass again so now we have what we've done now is we have selected uh, realistic accuracy for our vectors in such a way that the uh, that we get a, a pass on the statistical uh, testing so now we have uh, we have a, uh, a good result again uh, and remember that to save the result so to get the final coordinates of Bob 1 you have to say save adjustment like this and then you have your your final result that uh, that you can export um, so that is in short the uh, the adjustment and how to work with the adjustment so it's important to get a, a pass on the statistical test if you don't get a pass, could be an outlier. Try to uh, to recompute the suspect vector, or if uh, if that doesn't help, then deselect it, uh, and also make sure you're using uh, a realistic standard deviation, realistic accuracy for your uh, vectors, and then always be uh, be aware of the uh, the accuracy of your uh, uh, of your newly computed point, of your uh, adjusted point. Thank you very much.